Welcome to another 3D comparison video importing GLB files into Fusion. For the case study model, I will choose this car. So this model is from CSM.ai and we have this 3D model generated using the common sense machines algorithm in order to transform this reference image to the left to the 3D model over here. I will also put the link to this file within the description. So let's see, to download this mesh, we're gonna go over here. We see that the only file format available from csm.ai is GLB. So I'll have that downloaded. We see that the download has started and we have this mesh GLB over here. So to get started with Infusion, if you're gonna take a look at insert mesh, we're gonna see that, okay, so I have an update for Fusion. We're gonna see that at insert mesh we can only insert an existing STL, OBJ, or 3MF file. So if I'm gonna try to do just that by adding the mesh directly, so within the download folder, we should have that mesh. We're gonna see that we cannot even select that since it is not a file format that Fusion recognizes. So there's an easy fix. We can use Blender to have the model converted to an OBJ, which is the legacy version of the GLB file. So within a Blender session, I will go to File, Import. We're going to have the possibility over here. So GLB is under GLTF. I will go to Downloads and we're going to see that mesh that was just downloaded two minutes ago. So I'll select that. I'm going to leave everything as default over here in the parameters options and I will have that file imported. We're going to see that the car model has been loaded and by default within Blender we don't have that texture enabled since we are in viewport shading. But if I will move to the second one we're going to see that we can apply that texture to the model. So. With this selected, we just need to convert it to an OBJ file, a file that Fusion will read. So I will select the model so that it, it is highlighted in orange. Go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ Legacy File. For this case study, I will put it on the desktop, so I'll call this car. I will set it to only limit to selection only so i only want the car i don't want all the elements exported and hit the export button we see that blender has finished exporting the file so we can jump into fusion go to insert insert mesh select from folder and we're gonna have the car model over here and we still need to address the texture because now we only exported the mesh so as we can see we don't have the texture added over here. I'll just slightly move the car a little bit. The model was not properly orientated. So we can also do that within Blender. As we can see, it's not perfectly aligned. But this is the mesh. So now we also want to add the texture. To do that, we just need to use Blender in order to export the texture along with the OBJ. So we can do that quite easy. We go <clears throat> to UV editing at the top and we're gonna see that this will be the UV unwrap of, of that model. So we just need to go to image, save as, and I will save this image on the desktop to save some space. I will change this to, to not be PNG. So I'll, choo I'll choose JPEG format. I will leave the quality to 100% and I will click save image. And now I just have to export the file. So in this case, I will call this car one because the original car MTL doesn't have that linked with that texture. We can also do that. We can open the MTL file and edit that. And with Infusion, I will make sure that this was saved. So it has already been processed insert mesh, select from my computer, in this case will be car2. 
And as you can see that uh, it says that the source file may be damaged. That may be a problem with the OBJ was not properly exported. So make sure you have this selected like this with orange file export OBJ limit to selection. And I will call this just to make sure Carto that it will be a different file. We see that this has been processed. The cursor has changed and got back to, to the original state. We no longer see those numbers. Therefore, we can add the mesh, select from computer. This will be car two. And we're going to see that the mesh will be added to the Fusion 360 viewport with the textures. So we see this is that car. Keep in mind that since this is a surface model, we can make use of um, of some features only. We need to work around within the mesh environment in order to process this. But we can also do something like some intersections. Let me just check the scale for this. So this will be 55. I will have this increased and as we can see the model scale is a little bit off <clears throat> so i will just construct a plane We see that even at one millimeter, I'm already over here. So keep in mind that from Blender, when the file was exported, the scaling needs to be addressed. We can do this directly within Blender, or we can do this over here at import. We have this scale mesh option. So we see that if I put a plane at one millimeter, so that's not good for mechanical engineering, but something like 0.5, and afterwards, I will go inspect, section analysis. We're going to see that GLB files will be imported just as meshes. That means they are not a solid body. But we can make use of various workflows over here within Fusion. So within uh, Form, there are some tools that can make use of, of that. So we can use the, the pool as well as other operations to work or form around the model. But again, keep in mind that if you want to import GLB files, pay attention to the scaling. So you're going to find that over here, scaled mesh. You're going to select the entities and you can scale it over there. In this case, I will scale it 100 times, uniform scale. I will leave this analysis to no longer be displayed and now if i will try to, to work around maybe within a surface from the top i'm gonna see that if i will draw a line over here for the length of the car the car should be around 80 millimeters so the scaling still needs to be addressed you can use a certain ratio depending on the desired length of, of your mesh Okay, so I hope you find this, this video useful. I know that the video regarding how to import OBJ files within um, Fusion has a thousand views. So I hope that this video will also gather more views. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider to subscribe or at least leave me a comment. That will motivate me to create more content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.